What's up guys? Freezing cold. Anyway, it's a new week and it's time for a new vlog. In the last one, we tuned the cooling system on the RC390, but today it's gonna be all about that 390 Duke and its supermoto mode. Now it's time to learn how to bam properly slide into the corner in a supermoto mode. And for that we found a location. It's actually a training facility for learning how to properly ride a car, bike, roller skates, bicycle, I don't know, whatever. But we're gonna learn how to properly slide into the corner. And for that I called some reinforcements. And this guy knows how to ride a supermoto bike. What's up Marco? That's Marco Ukota. He's an Italian Supermoto Trophy champion and he knows how to drift a bike, right? Yeah. Hey, check it. I like drifting, but I don't know why I need to slide into the corner. Why is that good? It's basically good because you can uh, brake later, get on the throttle sooner okay. and your lap times get better. Okay, that sounds good. And Plus you look cool. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I'm still a bit nervous. So I want first you show me some sliding and then I'm warm up the knob. So give me some rock and roll first, please. Okay, let's get it sideways. Hey, check it. is on I think now it's my turn what do you say Marco yeah go give it a try I think he's gonna fail first or nail I it think, I think it's gonna be hard but he'll get it at the end of the day the two most common mistakes are locking up the rear tire and not using the clutch enough on downshifting which results in rear end chattering I was going like a Italian champion right one foot down Nice in the curve, but not I just close. didn't do the curve. Not what? even close, you're not <laughs> listening to me. Okay. I told you, don't what? block the rear wheel, okay. this is not a stunt bike. Okay. You have to keep it spinning and get it sideways. If you block, you're gonna crash. Okay, understand. What I just realized that this bike has a slipper clutch, so I don't need to use my clutch. So just downshift and control with a rear brake, but not locking the rear exactly. brake. Exactly, KTM okay. has made your life easy. Okay, thank you KTM. Let's put this 390 Duke sideways, super moto style. To control the slide, you need to successfully use four elements on the bike. So when you enter the corner, you need to downshift as many gears as you need. Second, you need to find the sweet spot with the clutch. If you pull it in too much, you won't get sideways. If you pull it in too little, you will get chattering on your rear wheel. Third, the rear brake. You need to use it alongside the engine braking. Be careful not to use it too much or you can lock up the rear wheel. Use it gradually so you feel the back end break away and you don't overdo it. And last, the front brake. You need to enter the corner at enough speed so you can use the front brake enough to unload the rear wheel, which will make sliding the bike much easier. What do you say, Marco? I'm getting closer? Yes, yes. You need some practice, but you'll get there. Yeah, it's like all the tricks don't work in one day, right? Exactly. So I think it's your turn. You should try the 390. What do you say? You want to try? Yeah, I can try. Okay, and let's use this corner. We're always switching corners here. We try different styles, different corners to find out. Harder one for Marco. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they use slipper clutch? I don't think so. They don't you care. are doing wrong. 
sliding the clutch and a little bit brake and this is how you drift the car yeah, but they don't have supermoto mode so uh, they don't have a supermoto mode switching the driver it's hard to give your bike away to, yeah, to another but, rider uh, when you know that it's a good rider then it's no problem but the, I, the, the other thing is he gonna go over the limit maybe I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Also, it's not his bike, so he doesn't care. That's true, so... <laughs> it would be nice to have some crash protectors now. We should add some crash cage here when Marco is riding. Now, I was going a little bit careful since I promised KTM I will not destroy the bike. I know Marco can do it, so Marco, give us a little bit rock and roll. Let's go. His motocross boots are not really right boots for the street bike, but you want to try more, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's give him time, he needs to get used to the bike. Damn rain, man. Now, just when we had fun, we need to quit. Ugh, this weather. Did you see that dude? That was Marco, sideways, properly. So I was a rookie, I showed you some rookie skills. Marco showed you some pro skills. Anyway, I had lots of fun. I made the first baby steps into sliding. You had fun? Yeah, lots of fun. I what do you confirm. say about the 390 Duke? I can confirm the Supermoto mode works very well. So we have a green light from the professional Supermoto rider. So good job KTM, Supermoto mode is working perfectly. It was also easy for me to learn the first steps. And yeah, follow Marco on Instagram. He has a lot, also a lot of Supermoto cool pictures, videos. What's your Instagram? The Get Low Racing. Get Low Racing. So follow Mark on Instagram. Drop some comments below if you are also try the Supermoto mode on the uh, on the Duke 390. And if you have some information what we maybe forget to say, drop the comments below. That's it for this time. See you next week. Until then, rock on. Ne poskušajte tega na cesti, ostanite varni.